Yes, my people, good day. Working on a 2006 GMC 3500 box truck. Customers, thanks. My horn works when it wants to and does not work when it doesn't feel like working. Can you check it out for me? Sure, let's check it out. First, step one is to verify the complaint. Not working. Not working. But when I turn it, see that? Good spot, bad spot. Good spot, bad spot. And then when I turn it here, see that, see that, see that? Back over here. What could be a problem in a situation like this? Hmm, hmm. What is your guess? Let me show you. This is my guess right here. Can you see it? It's what you call a clock spring. See it? It fits behind the steering wheel and it facilitates contact with the rotating steering wheel for the airbag or any controls on the steering wheel itself. It maintains a continuous electrical contact even though the steering wheel is turning. This component right here, they call it a clock spring. I think there's a bad spot on it. So we're gonna pull the steering wheel off, swap this out and so we get, ah, let's go. Step one, make sure the battery is disconnected. We're gonna remove the airbag. And how you remove the airbag on these is on the side, there's a little hole, right? There's one on this side. And then there is one on this side as well. So you're using the pocket screwdriver. You're gonna put it through there and you're going to be, let me show you, cause I have it already partially removed. You can see what I'm talking about. You see this little tab here? That is what you're moving out the way. That's what's keeping the airbag in. So when I position, I'm coming in from this side and I, get in through here i am going to push under you see that you see that give you a closer look on it you're pushing on that see that pretty cool huh you see these are the tabs and you see this groove that's on that side there's one on here as well so that little groove that spring fits in there and that's what keeps the airbag in place and when installing it you just position it back and you push it in and it goes click click and that's it so battery disconnected undo that then we're gonna undo the airbag here we're going to undo this here this is for the horn at this point i should have realized that i got something wrong i'm not going to tell it to you now but some of you might realize i'm going to explain it to you shortly hang in there contacts right here the pad which is a push usually is a twist and turn let's see push and okay there you go twist and turn push twist and it forwards out right then the next thing is going to be this big nut in the middle hopefully i don't need a steering wheel puller i make sure that the steering wheel is straight see when i'm removing it so i put it back on straight no issues or anything all right so i have the nut loose here it is right there it's not forwarding off so i'm going to give it my little trick to see if I can avoid using a steering wheel puller. I just put the nut back on maybe like two, three threads. I don't want it flying off at me, you understand? So we're about to see if this thing works. Ready? Don't blink, you might miss it. So you hold your hands like this, you see? And concentrate on the hands. You understand? Here you go, strike! You see that? All right, all right, okay, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say something. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Blows and skirt. Cause I, I swallow my pride. Blows and skirt. <laughs> hey. But I'm saying goodbye. No, man. Yeah, so there we go now. We have this. No, so these are the clock springs. So, can I recognize it? All right, let's proceed. This is what it look like. We have that clip to pull down here. We're gonna get the tool for that. Not sure if I have to take this off. I might not have, it might, it might just forward right out, so. A while ago, you never want uh, to go in. No, you know, uh, come on. Look, we have this. So, I have to remove that. All right, it's off. 
nut bolt it in, clipped in here and clip in there. Forwards off real easy, like so. Hmm. Hmm. Something to look right there, sir. Surprise, 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 big surprise. So on this particular model and design, there's only two wires passing through the clock spring and it is just for the airbag. The horn is this old style design still where it uses a contact and it's sliding on a brass ring. You see all those filings there? That's it. That is what controls the horn. There's like a little pin. So I thought I was done, but nope, the fun just begun. So now I have to go deeper, take this stuff off, remove this and see what's sold. If I have to get the whole thing or if I can get just this. Man, let me tell you. I have not had to use this tool in over 12 years. Those are scared. Come back and I use it now. Almost threw it away. I was like, oh, we ain't using these things no more. Yeah, okay. Chevy will surprise you. This is from back in them um, conversion van days. And I used to change the pivot pins for the um, steering wheel. It paid good, I got good at it too. But this pin always... This pin always sucked. All right, I got it out the groove, so. All right. This thing is worn down. This ring right here. This right here is where you make the contact. And there's a groove now. This is deep. And that's the little pin right here. That's making contact, looking for a ground. See all that material there? All that copper. But the biggest thing is there's like a groove in this now. So I don't think you can get that pin by itself. They probably want to sell it that whole thing. But if this is not as worn out, I'm going to see what they want for this. They go from there because this is worn out. There's like a groove in here. So the parts came in. See them here? Boom. So I get the ring, which is, remember this piece right here, this part worn down. So fortunately, they still sell that, not discontinued. Thank God for that. Discard off the bag appropriately. So this is a new ring. See? Yep, looks very similar. Just not worn down over years I use. And then, the next thing what we get now, we get the new switch. Why we get the new switch? Because you see this button here? See that button there? That button is what makes the contact. That button is what is riding on this surface here. So it's when, it, when you turn the steering wheel, it's what's sliding on it, making contact. You understand? So, boom. Let me take off the old one. So this is the old one right here. See if I can give you a comparison of what old and new looks like. New, old. So we're putting in a new switch with a new button along with the new ring. Nothing is wrong with the old switch, but the button is worn down, like half worn down. So I don't want to risk putting it in and then it's still working in some spots and not working in others. That means we didn't fix anything. Can't afford that. We're not doing this thing twice. The comeback rate, we have to keep that low. Yeah. So, and then plus, this is cheaper than the clock spring. I will return in the clock spring anyway. So it worked out cheaper in the end. So let's put it together and see what we get. All right, here the finished product. See, it worked everywhere. So, on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.